welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and you are keeping safe. So today we finally have, and I know it's taken me so long to film this video, but we finally have a swatch video of the Daniel Smith watercolors that I bought in a previous haul. And I've since added to those watercolor paints with the Daniel Smith watercolor Primatech set, which is this set here. I am really, really excited to do this swatch. I've already tried a couple of the Daniel Smith paints, I'm not going to lie to you because I just could not hold on. Um, however, the Primatech, I have not tried them at all, so it's going to be a completely fresh reaction from me for the Primatech colours and I'm really, really excited to give them a try. I'm also going to run through um, my sort of personal thoughts about the drama that there was surrounding the Primatech paints um, earlier on last year. Um, and obviously please just bear in mind that that is my own personal thoughts and take from it what you will. Um, so let's get into the video and um, we'll get doing a swatch. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, I'll see you in a minute. Okay then guys, so I am going to do a swatch of the Daniel Smith colours that I've picked up over the couple, last couple of hauls. Um, I don't have a spare watercolour palette so what I have done is with these wells that I have in the Schwinker palette that I have I have basically um, filled them up with some Daniel Smith paints so in here we have Green Appetite Genuine, Moon Glow, we have Rose of Ultramarine, this one here is Rhodonite Genuine, Jadeite Genuine, Amethyst Genuine, we've got um, Mayan Blue Genuine here, Hematite Genuine, you can see these two have separated slightly. Uh, this is Quinacridone Purple, and then over here we've got Pimentite uh, Genuine. So I have picked up, obviously, the Primatech set, as you can see, and I've already gone through it with you. Um, so there was a bit of sort of drama surrounding these paints. So if we take a look at one of the normal paints, so let's take a look at Moon Glow, which is one of my favourite uh, Daniel Smith paints of all time. So you can see here, obviously, we have the name of the paint, which is Moon Glow there. And then as we go to the back of the, frame, the tube, we have Pigment, PG18, PB29, and PR177. So these are the pigments that make up this paint, Moon Glow. So you can see there are three pigments in here. Um, now, the Primatech colours, the idea of these was that the pigment was based on genuine amethyst, or for example, in the Green Appetite Genuine, Genuine Green Appetite. So these are actually gemstones. Both of those are gemstones. Similarly, the um, Jadeite as well, that is a gemstone. And again, you can see here, it says Genuine Jadeite. Now the drama that surrounded these paints was that someone on Instagram, and I'll link their um, post in the description box below so you can have a look for yourself and have a read of it. It's very, very interesting. They basically, um, broke down the paints and had a look to see exactly what was in these Primatech paints and whether or not it was, uh, for the pigment anyway, just amethyst, for example. Of course, they're always going to have binders, um, etc. in the paint. So this one uses gum arabic solution, for example, in the genuine amethyst, or the amethyst genuine. But what they found was that actually in these paints, it wasn't always just the um, natural materials that Daniel Smith have kind of insinuated on with this. It's a bit of a tricky one because apparently they don't actually have to um, disclose the pigments and the makeup of the paints because of course then they're subject to other companies potentially um, copying that particular makeup. However, I still think that they should disclose the pigments that are in these paints because at the end of the day, the pigments can affect um, how these paints work with other paints. And we'll see that in a moment, especially when we look at the Amethyst Genuine, it will be a very, very bright, vibrant purple, which if you guys have seen an Amethyst, and I have one here just to show you, 
they're not always that bright vibrant so this is a real amethyst crystal and you can see it's a very very pale sort of lilac-y lavender colour. So that was the kind of um, sort of drama that was surrounding these. For me, it's not going to stop me from buying these paints. I did manage to pick them up for a bit cheaper than any other Daniel Smith paints that I've got. I got them for £35 for six. Um, so that makes them around about £6 each. So they were cheaper than any other Daniel Smith paints, which I think they should be because obviously they're not disclosing all of the pigments. Um, they're not going to put me off, but it does leave a bit of a sour taste in uh, my mouth, uh, especially their response to this person on Instagram wasn't really uh, the best response in the world. So you guys make the decision for yourselves if, if the Prima Tech colours are something that you would want to pick up or not. Um, I still think they're going to be fantastic and I'm going to enjoy using them. But again, make your own decision um, and see where you go from there. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can actually see the swatches a bit better. So we're going to start off with Green Appetite Genuine. Now I have already used this paint um, a bit and I have to tell you I did love it. It's perhaps one of my favourite greens, I'm just going to pick up a bit more pigment on there. So I really, really love this green colour. You can see that it is a little bit granulating. And if I just darken it up here a bit more. And then we'll take a look back at it when it's dried. Next one we have is Moon Glow. Um, again, this is another one that I have already used and I flipping love it. Now, Moon Glow, I have been informed, is not fully light fast, even though on the um, paint tube it does say that it is light fast, but a lot of people have told me it is not. I haven't done my own personal um, tests on this yet, and I might do that with this swatch card, maybe leave it somewhere in the sun. But Moon Glow, as you can see, is that beautiful grey, warm grey colour. And this is made up of three pigments, so PR177, PB29 and PG18. So again, we will have a look and see what Moon Glow does as it dries, because the pigments often will split um, and you will end up with a beautiful um, sort of granulation of colours on there. So again, everything that I say, as I said before, I'm still relatively new to watercolour painting, so please just bear that in mind. So the next one we're going to use is this one here, which is Rose of Ultramarine, and I love this colour. I think it is gorgeous. Apologies if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. It seems to be a common thing for my videos. So you can see there, Rose of Ultramarine is this utterly stunning violet red colour. And again, as it dries, we will potentially see the pigment split ever so slightly. And I'll show you that in a moment. It of course depends on how much water you add to the paint. So the next one we have is Quinacridone Purple. This is made of just one pigment and it's this beautiful sort of plum purple colour. Really nice, really smooth. And looking next to looking at it next to Rose of Ultramarine, you can see this is a lot more red in tone and this is more purple. So we're moving now on to the um, 
Primatech colors that came with the Primatech set. So we have the Rhodonite Genuine as the first one. And I'll be really interested to see what this looks like. So that's a very vibrant pinkish color, very pretty. And then we're gonna move on to Jadeite Genuine really excited for this colour. Wow, look at that. I mean, I just think it's beautiful. It's a really rich green. Now, can you see what I mean by the colours being very, very vibrant? And I do think that if it was just a natural mineral, we probably wouldn't get such vibrancy in the colours. So the next one we're going to look at is Amethyst Genuine. Okay, so that's quite a dark, almost a grey purple that I wasn't really expecting. We've then got the Mayan Blue. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a mix because of the binder separating there a bit. Now this is something that I have been wanting to try for a little while. This particular colour. That's beautiful. We've got the Hematite Genuine next. I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix because again the binder has separated ever so slightly. Okay, Hematite Genuine. Let's have a look. So very nice looking. It looks almost black to me. I was expecting it to be a little more on the brown side. Might have to have a play with that. And then lastly, we've got Pine Tight Genuine. I hope I'm saying that right. That's nice. That's a really, really stunning. So there you have it. So if we go back up to the Green Appetite Genuine, can you see the beautiful granulation we've got here where I uh, darkened it a little bit and you can kind of see this almost two-tone green here. I just think it's gorgeous. It's one of my favourite greens. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's almost got like a bit of brown in it. Moon Glow hasn't done what I thought it would do and I will perhaps do another swatch just to show you. Same with Rose of Ultramarine. So, in some swatches, when I add a bit more water to the Rose of Ultramarine, you can see there the blue, the pigment blue, which is here, rises to the top. So you can see it there, which is really stunning. Can't see it so much on this particular swatch, so I will perhaps have a little play with those ones. Quinacridone purple, like I said, beautiful, stunning purple colour, a bit more on the sort of reddish pinkish tone than the Amethyst Genuine below it. And the Amethyst Genuine, as you can see, is a slightly more sort of grey toned. And it almost looks like there's some mica. I don't know if you guys can see, can you see that sort of sparkle? If you look up here, it's interesting, I wasn't expecting that. You see that? The paint's dry pretty much. It's pretty much dry. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Interesting. We've then got the Jadeite Genuine, which I think is a really gorgeous, rich green. The Rhodonite Genuine. And then of course, the main blue Genuine, the Hematite Genuine and the Pyamonite Genuine. These are all still drying.
So I have done a couple other swatches of the Moon Glow here and the Rose of Ultramarine. So you can see here a bit better the different layers that Moon Glow has to it. I just think it's a really beautiful colour. Um, you can see the sort of pinks um, and the, the red pigment in there. You can see the blues and then of course the grey up here. So it is a really beautiful paint. Um, we have the Rose of Ultramarine and you can see a bit better where the blue pigment here just pops up a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. I know the lighting isn't great here. And then I've just done a couple of lighter swatches of a few of the Primatech paints. Obviously these two are still drying, but we have the uh, Pimonite Genuine there and the Hematite Genuine. Again, you can see they are granulating um, and I just think they are really, really lovely paints. Uh, so with regards to the um, sort of scandal surrounding them, um, to be honest, for me, it's not going to put me off buying these paints. I think they're really pretty. I think they're beautiful. And you know what? I just want to enjoy painting watercolour. But of course, if um, the pigments are something that you are really, really interested in and it's going to affect your work, then that's something that you perhaps need to think about. Um, there's a really interesting blog uh, with a lot of different comments underneath about the Daniel Smith Primatech paints. So I highly recommend you give that a read and I will leave that in the description box below so that you can take a look, look at that. It's on the Jackson's website. Um, they have asked uh, Daniel Smith if they would consider clarifying some of the um, pigments in the Primatech paints. And the response um, previously from Daniel Smith was that the paints do contain genuine mi uh, minerals. However, um, it does not state anywhere on there that it is 100% uh, amethyst as an example. So that's obviously where the issue has come about. It's not 100% minerals, but I think to be honest with you, that doesn't, for me, that doesn't bother me that much. I just think they're really lovely. I love the fact that amethyst has this sort of sparkle to it. Um, and yeah, for the price of them, I, I don't really think you can go wrong, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's my personal opinion. Obviously, you've got to make the decision for yourselves. I would highly recommend that you swatch them out, see what you think, um, and see if there's something that you'd like to invest in. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed that video and that it was useful for you. Um, I'm definitely going to be investing in some more Daniel Smith paints at some point. Uh, excuse you, attention seeker, come on then. Of course, the dog has to get her two cents in. Say hi. She's just had a bath and she's looking so cute. <laughs> so I am definitely going to invest in some more Daniel Smith paints. I really, really love them. I think they are beautiful. They are a little bit more on the pricey side, but I do think they're worth it. And um, however, the next ones that I'm fingers crossed going to get are the new Schmincke um, super granulating colours. I can't wait to try those. They look stunning. So as soon as I've got some, I will film a haul video and swatching video on those for you as well. And then you can see if it's something that you'd like to go for. So just to give you a little reminder, this is the swatch sort of card that I've made. I just think, I mean, green Appetite Genuine, probably one of my favourite greens. I think it's gorgeous. That's this one up here. I love Moon Glow. So you can see the two swatches that I did for that here. And Jadeite Genuine is stunning as well. So I'm really, really excited to create some pieces with this. I've started um, painting, no shocker here, a skull uh, with, <laughs> with the Daniel Smith watercolor paints. This is a work in progress. Obviously I've had to let it dry um, so that I can go over it with some more layers. Uh, I'm really, really excited. The Hematite Genuine does uh, granulate quite a bit so I'm, I need to sort of just learn how to use that a bit better but yes I absolutely love it so far so if you'd like to see the finished piece of this then head over to my Instagram it's at canvas underscore and copper um, on Instagram and I'll post the finished piece there as soon as it's done I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please do give it a thumbs up and um, that would be amazing i'd absolutely love that and if you'd like to see more of these types of videos then please do hit that subscribe button i post hauls i'm going to be posting tutorials um as well and we post swatches too so please do join us um look, we've got a really lovely community just building at the minute and i think it's just fantastic the art community on youtube is so supportive and i'm really really sort of happy and proud to be a part of it so please do get involved anyway i'll see you the next one talk to you later bye
ぽしぽしぽし。